boy howdy has this subject just been the talk of the Discord server lately, and with good reason, because Mexico... Guys! What are you doing? Look, look, look. I, I, I don't mean to be that guy, but I'm gonna be that guy. There's a lot of really poor taste stereotypes um, about y'all. I think you know that. I'm sure you do. And, and this whole situation is doing nothing to help that. And I just need you to understand this. But I want to preface this video with the simple fact that I'm not coming from a place of hate or racism or anything like that. I do not condone any behavior or attitudes related to such. If this were a group of Americans or Brits or Germans or Russians or Indians, it doesn't matter whoever the group of people would be, I would say the same things I'm about to say. I just want to make that clear. Also, seriously, the heck are you doing? So as most of you are probably aware, the situation deals with Canadian Pacific 2816, who actually has a name. She is known as the Empress, which is nice. I like it. I like it. I can dig that. She is an H1B464 Hudson steam locomotive, originally built by the Montreal Locomotive Works in December of 1930 for the, well, Canadian Pacific Railway. Not only is she already pretty unusual as a preserved Hudson, because there aren't too many of them left, but she's also the only non-streamlined H1 Hudson to be preserved. Now, in terms of her history, I can make a whole video about that, but she was at Steamtown USA for a while, but was reacquired by Canadian Pacific in 1998, and BC Rail were hired to put her back into operation. She would return to service in 2001, used by Canadian Pacific for excursion services. They discontinued the program in 2012, but they still kept her, they weren't getting rid of her or anything. And after Canadian Pacific's very recent merger with Kansas City Southern, to become Canadian Pacific Kansas City, or CPKC, they decided to bring 2816 back into service, which began this spring, 2024. And they had a grand tour planned, a really, like, top tier, just, yo, they planned a multinational route across their entire territory, stretching from Canada to the United States and down to Mexico, known as the Final Spike Steam Tour. It stretched all the way from Calgary down to Mexico City. And everything went off really well. 2816 performed flawlessly. There were no major hiccups or anything. Crowds adored her. Everything was fine. And then she crossed into Mexico and mass chaos ensued. I don't know if maybe they don't fully understand down there the, the safety, or maybe they're just too excited. Maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe they're just too excited. A running preserved steam locomotive isn't that unusual up in America and Canada. But down in Mexico, I don't believe this is as common. So I can sort of understand people down there being way more excited to see something like this. But also, 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 it might be best if we don't you know, act somewhat irresponsibly, or in some cases, like complete maniacs. For one of the first major thing that happened down there is that 2816 managed to kill someone. And of course, by that, I mean the woman in question got herself killed because 2816 had no way of averting this accident. It's actually eerily reminiscent of 844's incident. The woman was again trying to take a picture, and the only difference in this case is that the woman in question was trying to take a selfie, so she had her back turned to 2816. Now, I have seen the footage. I'm not showing it here for the same reasons I didn't show the footage of 844. Because, no, this was someone's family member. And this is very recent. I don't need to show you someone dying horribly to reinforce the point that you don't do this. But I will tell you, it involved a very loud concussive metal sound striking the woman in the head. So yes, she died relatively quickly. But what makes it worse is that despite the fact that this happened, people still decided to act like utter morons throughout this entire tour down there. Another woman almost got hit in pretty much the same way, getting too close to try to take a picture. In her case, she only got her phone knocked out of her hand. <laughs> So, you know, she lived, but also, what are you doing? And people still proceeded to act like lunatics, 
getting far too close, climbing on the train, even while it was in motion, which is a tremendously dangerous thing to do, but you know, gotta get those pictures. It got so bad that CPKC wound up having to call in armed guards to keep the crowds back, which, okay, look, steam tours have happened historically, you know, across America and the UK and Canada, Germany. This is something that that, that that people do, and that's that's great. I have never seen a railroad have to call in armed guards to protect their rolling stock. Not one time. Not for this situation. Are you kidding me? This shouldn't be necessary. Again, I plead with you. What are you guys doing? 2816 had to resort to going through Mexico at a snail's pace in some spots because the crowds were just that thick and would not get off the tracks. But fortunately, I am happy to report that she has safely escaped from Mexico. Apparently, on her way back, a diesel led her, which some have theorized may have been an effort to try to restrict the crowds from getting in the way, since trying to get a selfie in front of her wouldn't be as nice of a shot if she wasn't leading the train. And she did get out. She's okay. I heard some other stories about potential vandalism, or at least the risk of that, Though I have no solid evidence that anything like that actually occurred, and I've also heard tale that some of the pictures of them overly protecting 2816 may actually be fake, taken at other times during the tour or in her history. But regardless of exactly how bad it was, the point is that, yo, this was terrible, and was definitely not a good showing of proper rail fanning etiquette when it comes to the general Mexican public. Many have said that they never want to see her go down that far again, and honestly, I don't necessarily disagree, unless the crowds can actually, you know, behave properly and not act like crazy people. This is just too dangerous for both 2816 and the people around her. Also, I need to stress this. Armed guards. Runka lunka dunka dee darn guards. And with that, a special thank you goes to all my underwater train finders, some dude 267, Orange Glass, Benjamin Owens, Anzac A1, Arthur Roy, Jack Carson's Rural Videos, Lord Off 444, Icer for 1405, Charles Kwiatkowski, Matt Weaver, Tom Red Lion, and as Productus 8104, Wheeljack 8401, Rescues Greyhounds, The Baxter, Caleb Crosswhite, Andrew Bowen, Josh Johnson, Caleb Brainwaters, Prez Drenton, Master of None, Travis Zelinski, Jared Brussel, JBL Explorers, Tommy Rossini, Ben McCullough, Panzer Kitson 131-232, Mark Holding, G Wiz, Mr. Jarevel, Hayden DeGrow, Metal for Life Guy, No, Kurt Forkham, Ohio Trucker 1, Mitchell Cole, Mr. Sleepy, Dr. Race 78, AET Museum, Railroad Preserver 2000, Williard Conklin, Windy City Rails, DM Travel Typhoon, Harry, Hannah Bird, Western Colorado History, Ryan Wehofer, Drew Debris, George Kenny, Murder Drone Stall, Kevin Wood, Liam Wright, Morris Hillman Productions, NJ1969, Hendrick Motorsports Fan 5, and of course, my dad. Till next time, this is Darkness, and I bid you all a fun farewell.